This YCN segment is brought to you by M.J. Harrington & Company, jewelers and designers since 1948. Welcome back. One final segment, YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerheide. Before we get to our Salt Hill Pub picks of the week, we are going to talk Patriots Chiefs. First, we'll talk Patriots. Big trade. Uh, Saturday, the news came down. Jacoby Brissett for Dorsett of yeah. the uh, Indianapolis Colts. And uh, I was surprised. I thought Brissett would make the roster. I thought he was kind of the future of the Patriots with the whole Garoppolo, the whole Brady thing still up in the air. Apparently, Belichick thought otherwise. They needed a special yeah. teams guy, uh, another receiver. Yeah. What do you make of this trade? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly the Pats needed a wide receiver, and like you said, special teams, and that's exactly what Dorsett uh, fills the need for them. Mm. I think he, what was he, the second or third kind of receiver in the Colts system? Yeah, and he was supposed to be a, a big pick yeah. when he was drafted. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it's a good move by the Patriots. Uh, I think Bill Belichick kind of looks at his third-string quarterback as right. he could find somebody to fill that role. Um, and especially you have a guy like Garoppolo right behind Tom right. who could take over whenever needed. Uh, I definitely think they need a third-string quarterback. It's definitely important to have. Uh, but I think it's a good trade for the Patriots. It fills a big void that right. they had. Well, and I think a lot of people overlook special teams. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, us as fans, we think offense, we think defense. But right. special teams is kind of, oh, they can just put somebody back there to catch catch yep. punts, but we saw Cyrus Jones, and yeah. you just can't put anyone back there. So I think right. to have Dorsett having the ability to do that, uh, and Belichick values that very much, so he's going to put somebody back there who he knows he can do the job, yep. and I think that was a big part of it. So moving to the opening game against the Chiefs Thursday night, mm -hmm. uh, is this a game they should be worried about, or is it kind of one of those cautiously they should be, I mean, they're going to focus. It's not, it's not like they're not going to focus, uh -huh. but as fans, is this a game that we could get, the Chiefs could sneak up on the Patriots, or is it Eh, not, it doesn't really elicit any fear. I mean, I think the, Chief, the Chiefs are a solid football team. Definitely, uh, I don't think the Patriots should just completely, you right. know, think they're going to win this one. I think they're going to have to play well. Uh, I can see this being a first-half game, mm -hmm. and then toward the third quarter, the Patriots really right. step on the gas and put the Chiefs, pull the Chiefs out of the water. Um, but I, I don't think this is going to be an easy game. I do think the Patriots will win it, uh, you know, by at least two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. um, but, but kind of pulling away later. But pulling away later, I think it's going to be a good first half. So Right, uh, and and the Chiefs don't have a lot of firepower. Right. And I think that's what can beat the Patriots at certain times. Yeah. When you've got guys like Week 2, I think, will be a challenge when they go to New Orleans and face Drew Brees. Yeah. Uh, so when they face teams that are, are, are methodical and plodding along like an Alex Smith-led team, he's not yeah. going to turn the ball over, right. but he's not going to be – flashy and throw 80-yard touchdown passes. Yeah. So I think this kind of sets up well for the Patriots in week one. And plus, when Bill Belichick has extra time to prepare, as he has all yeah. preseason, uh, they're usually pretty dangerous. So right. we're going to make our pick in just a little bit. But I think for right now, the Patriots should have a good opening night on yeah. Thursday night at Gillette Stadium. It's time for the Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. Salt Hill Pub, honest food, perfect pints, live music, now here to serve you in five locations. All righty, here we are with our picks, first week of the season, and we're going to be doing this every week. It's going to be myself against our guest. Every week we're going to have, hopefully, a rotating guest co-host, and so Andrew gets to be the first one. In the first game, Thursday night, Chiefs, Patriots, big surprise here, I know. Yeah, I'm uh, going with the Patriots. I know a lot of people didn't think I would, but uh, that's what I'm going with. Uh, I think it's going to be an easy win for the Patriots. Like we were saying before, I think the first half is going to be competitive. The Chiefs are definitely not a bad team, but I think the Patriots are just that much better. And in, in the third quarter, they're going to start to uh, step on the gas and really win that game. Pretty yeah, and, and we see the Belichick halftime adjustments, so that makes right. sense. That second half, I'd say yep. they pull away win by 8 to 12 points, yep. and the Patriots get that one as well. Going over to Sunday night, or Sunday during the day, 1 o'clock game, NFC East game, Eagles at Redskins to open the season. So I'm going with the Eagles. Um, I think uh, Carson Wentz is an underrated quarterback, and I think Kirk Cousins is overrated, and he's getting paid a ton. Um, so I'm going with the Eagles. All right, I'm going to disagree with you on that one. I'm going to take <laughs> okay. the Redskins. I think Carson Wentz, his second year, he will be better. Yep. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Kirk Cousins right. this season. Going over to a big matchup, non-division yeah. matchup, but a Seahawks-Packers, right. maybe. Hey, it looks like it's a preview of the NFC Championship game, NFC Championship game early. Yeah, definitely a playoff preview, and this one's a tough one. But I'm going with the Packers. Um, I think... I think in the end, the Seahawks will make it um, farther down the road, but I think the Packers will win this one. You know, it's tough to play at Lambeau Field, and right. obviously I think Aaron Rodgers is 
Uh, probably the second-best quarterback right underneath Tom Brady. So All right, I'm going I, with the Packers. Yeah, I go with the Packers as well. I just think with the weapons that they have, you're right, at home that first week, Packers get the win. Big yeah. Sunday night football, Giants-Cowboys opening matchup in the yeah. NFC East. Yeah, so I'm going with the Cowboys. Um, I think they're going to be, you know, it, it's going to depend on Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, this game he's playing. Right. Um, but uh, I think the Cowboys will win this matchup against the Giants. I'm not a Giants fan. Right. Um, but uh, I think the Cowboys are a very solid team, and I think uh, they're going to be one of the better teams down the road as well. And they always open up some good, exciting games. Usually Giants-Cowboys play the first week of every season, right. and I think the Cowboys get the win there as well. Yeah. Uh, so I take them at home. Monday Night Football, one of the two games, Saints yeah. at Vikings. Yeah, so I'm going uh, with the Saints, the away team. Um, I think uh, Drew Brees is going to have another good year. Um, I think the Saints are – I think the Vikings will be pretty solid this year, but I know they're having some quarterback issues, but I think the Saints are going to win this game. I'm taking the Vikings. Don't okay. sleep on the Vikings this year. I think yeah. they could be quietly a uh, success, and, and Saints on the road, it's always tough. So there are our five picks. Each week we'll do the Salt Hill Pub picks of the week. Don't forget to tune in to our website. Check it out, ycnnow.com. You can get the schedule of when – YCN Sports Talk premieres and when our Game of the Week premieres every Saturday. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.